Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, this is part two of my alcohol ink pots. So I can't edit videos, so I can't put it in one video. I had to let these dry for 24 hours, which has actually been close to two days. And um, virtually these are now finished. I just have to do the unveiling. So um, part one is actually me making the pots and this is me um, taking off the glad wrap and showing you the finished product. So I am positive that these are dry underneath, but I don't always know how they're gonna look until I actually unwrap them. So what we will do now is um, take off the glad wrap and actually see how they have turned out. So these are super fun to do, really enjoyable. And if you watch the video of me making them, you'll actually see how interesting they are. So these are quite big pots compared to what I've done in the past. So I'm really thrilled at how they're gonna turn out. So now all you do is unwrap them. This is the what I call glad wrap or cling wrap. So you just have to make sure that the alcohol ink is completely dry before you do this. So usually 24 hours is enough, but um, mine were left 48 just because I was busy and didn't get a chance to do it. So, here we go. Look at all those effects that have come through. So this was done in um, blue, violet and teal. So we've got teal parts, we've got bl stronger blue violet so probably not as much teal in this as I had planned for but that's why I'd always do a couple but um really like it look at these little bubbles that have kind of appeared then you've got the streaks so they're really really interesting and can you just imagine a nice plant planted up in this so these ones have holes in the bottom so I can actually um coat these in I'll coat these in a uh, like a spray varnish first and then I'll use a UV varnish um, to actually protect them and make them a little bit more um, UV resistant but super happy with the effects that I've got so with this alcohol that's on the base here and inside the lip there all as I will do to remove that is just use isoprosyl alcohol so I've just got that isoprosyl alcohol. Spray it onto um, uh, a napkin, probably um, just a paper towel, and wipe it off. Try to do it um, neatly. Try not to get the alcohol in any other part of the pot because it will start damaging that pattern you've got. But I'm just going to do the inside and maybe a little bit of the lip. Um, I don't know, we might actually leave that lip a little bit. So to me, if this is planted, it actually doesn't matter if the alcohol's on the inside anyway, but it's more up to you if you want to do it. But I will take it off the base, but it probably won't come off this outer ring because this outer ring wasn't, um, didn't have the same porcelain type of seal. It was a little bit porous, so that's probably soaked into there. And I had to peel off the sticky feet, the little... Um, where are we? Can I pick this up? The little felt feet that are on, um, I had to take them off to actually do the alcohol um, print. So, there's number one. Now we'll put that aside. And we'll get the next one. Let's unravel the teal first, won't we? Um, not Yeah, so this one was teal i think and baja blue where are we um i can't see my other color i must have put it away pretty sure it was baja blue and teal could have been sapphire blue but same thing they're just wrapped up left so i usually do a few of these at a time 
I put them on a piece of wood like this so they can go somewhere safe and dry. So I just put them up and away where they're not going to get touched or damaged in any way. And now we are just unraveling. So I think this one I had two parts of cling wrap on. Yep, so there's the smaller piece. And here is the big piece. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome really cool effects and varnished up this will really um, shimmer well not so much shimmer but shine um, it'll be bold got really cool little patterns and they all turn out slightly different like this has kind of got streaks coming into a center then you got this and being a pot you just have it facing the way that is the pattern that you like the most um, or you can even swap it around again We'll clean up the bottom and even on the lip on actually the inside the lip actually looks really cool as well so this is dry you can touch it um, I try not to scratch it with anything sharp until it's at least um, sealed so but that there is number two I'm thrilled actually about that one I quite like that colour. I think that colour is actually um, probably a little bit more going to suit the situation. And then I have number three. So this board only fits three, so I just do three at a time. I've got a few more pots to go, so um, a few of these are going to be Christmas presents. So... sure this is dry some parts of this were quite thick with the alcohol ink so if you're worried about the alcohol ink not being dry leave it don't try to take it off too early because if it if you take it off early and it hasn't dried you won't get these the, the right effects you will know, start smudging and because the inks are made out of alcohol as they smudge, they will start making the pattern around them change. Again, that um, teal didn't come through as much. So that just shows that next time I'll have to use a lot of teal and just add a little bit of the blue violet for highlights. But different patterns again. Kind of got a couple little rings here. More patterns across there. They're really interesting and um, like my friends at work, when they see me always buying more pots, they go, what do you need more pots for? And if they, when I show them what I do with them, um, they love them. Everyone thinks they're awesome. So, and so do I. Again, we can clean up the inside and the outside lips. So that will be nice. But again, you don't have to. If you're going to put soil in this or another pot inside this, you won't actually see that. So I just clean up the bottom so it looks a little bit more professional. And then I just seal them just so the, they don't fade. So mostly I just use a spray sealer. I'll show you what I actually use. Um, no, I won't. I put it away. Ah, oh, here I go. I've got a matte spray clear finishing sealer that I just spray it with at first. And then after that, I use a UV protecting, um, you can either use a spray or I've got a tin of paint that I just have to um, try to do so I don't get too many streaks. You're better off using thinner thinner amounts and, not, and kind of do more coats that way. But again, awesome, really cool effects. 
Again, just put the pot which way you like it. And everyone will like different parts about this. So this was my blues. I thought I'd do all the blues at once. Um, next time I'll actually probably do a couple of different colours. But I do actually like this middle one. So I may do another one in that colour so it has a, a pear friend. I like to try to do everything so that I've got a grouping. Now I'm going to remove this here because I don't want the wood to scratch it at all. And then I will lay these down. Which way? Yeah. Is it going to want to roll? No. And don't let them clang against each other just yet either. That will take off some of the patterning. There we go. I'm just gonna to check to make sure that that's in camera angle so you guys can actually see them. Oh yeah, you can guys. So the lighting here isn't 100%. I don't know if this is gonna help or not. It's not really helping, is it? This is just me with my little torch. Actually, I think I put a little bit of black with this one. This actually might not... Now that I'm thinking about it, I'll have to go back and watch the, um, the video of me making it. That one there might be teal with a bit of black. And that's what's given the darker blues and the other tones coming through in it. Um, so... Super easy to do, really, really fun, um, and I think the results are just perfect. So, they were just a plain white pot. Pretty, but um, uh, boring in my eyes. At least this has livened it up, added more colour. You can put whatever you plant you like with it. Um, I've got quite, I got quite a good indoor plant collection. Um, I'm a horticulturalist, so... I like plants and um, this here just kind of suits me to a T. Adding my art with my um, plants <coughs> and just making something that looks quite pretty. So that's mostly about it everyone. So just recapping, I have Jacquard Pinata um, Alcohol Inks. I've got other brands but I find I like these ones quite well. Um, I just put them in a smaller little bottle so I can actually use them a bit easier. You just need the um, ink, alcohol ink, uh, cling wrap, glad wrap, whichever you call it. I think some places call it saran or saran wrap. Um, just sandwich wrap, I think is another word. And that's mostly about it. And then just isopropyl alcohol to just clean it up. But again, it's a, it's a pot. Um, it's going to have plants and it really doesn't have to be perfectly clean. The only other thing that I will do is once I have finished varnishing it, I, um, I will put the felt feet back on. So some of them are a bit ruined, so I'll have to just buy some more felt feet and just put them back on so then they don't scratch any surface um, when you're putting it down. And that's all. Just make sure that in this form, before they are sealed, that you do not get any alcohol on them. Um, it will change the pattern, it will make it run, and it will ruin your pot. Um, water should be fine, it's more just any, any, anything with an alcohol base. So, thanks everyone. I hope you had fun watching the, the, the making of this, as well as the reveal. And just remember, mix and match your colours. Some colours don't come out as bold as others. I have used this coral in the past and it was very, very pale um, in comparison to, to these colours. These colours are bright, bold. Um, when the coral was kind of gave a bit more of a faded look. But also remember when you put two different alcohols, they will mix because they're a very liquidy. No, they are, they're a liquid. They will mix, so you will end up getting shades. Like this one here has got like bright colour. And then you've got the shades where the black's mixed in with it. And it's kind of gone different colours. But again, super fun. Super awesome. 
Um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the making of this and the reveal. And I will see you soon for another pour. Okay, catch you later. Bye. Ah, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and what colours might actually be good. Because um, that actually helps me decide what I can actually do in the future and what people want to see. So, yeah, comment, like, share and subscribe. Alright, have a good night. Bye.